Good morning. I did get a lot of work done early this morning, but then Rowdy wanted a cuddle and he never wants to sit still. So how do I say no to that face? You don't. So we've been chilling in bed, just hanging out, doing nothing. Well, I was reading, I finished a book. Um, the Gideon Oliver Skeleton Detective series. 18th book in the series was released, I guess, last this year, maybe? Or early last year? I can't remember. I don't know how I missed it, so I got that book and finished it. And I think, is he waking up? Are you waking up? Yes, okay, now we have to go outside and go potty. I've learned this. When he naps and then he wakes up, we gotta go pee. Oh, okay, before we do that, no, we're settling down again, okay. Um, I did wanna, mention anybody who lives in the San Antonio area that I am going to the HEB fashion show at the HEB that is at 1604 and Bandera. I will put the exact location below. It's Saturday. I think it's at two o'clock. It's only half an hour, two to two thirty. So, um, it's not a meetup cause it's not, it's not like with me, but I'm going to go cause I'm kind of intrigued to see what kind of fashion show goes on in a grocery store in their apparel department. I kid you not. They have an apparel department there. That's, it's not my local H-E-B, but it's a big one. So I'm gonna be there. If anyone wants to come hang out with me and watch a fashion show, I need to get a little grocery shopping done then too. Maybe we could grocery shop together as well or check out their makeup department, which is always awesome. And I imagine if they have a clothing department, their makeup department must be amazing. Oh my gosh, he's just like totally snuggling. Okay, I have to get dressed, wash my face, do stuff. Film a video today. Yes, I do have to film a video. I'm doing a video on the Too Faced Peaches palette because it's getting released again. And I was lucky enough to get one the first time around. So I wanted to do a little review for you guys because I never did. And um, yeah, okay. We're gonna go potty and get this day moving. The uh, doorbell just rang as I was getting dressed and got a little box from Zoya and there's no nail polish in it. It's a better box. It's a Godiva box. Let's see what's in it, shall we? I love gold boxes. Right? Uh, oh, it's like a whole assortment. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, hang on. I love this stuff. I have to hide this. I think I'm gonna put it in my office. <clears throat> I'm talking quietly so Michael can't hear me. Look what's in this box. Yummies. It's an assortment of really good stuff. I love the ones that are filled with gooey things like perhaps this one. What's this? Mm. It has what everything is sort of printed on the bottom, but then it also has one of these handy guides. And that little red foil ball is a cherry cordial i'm gonna look through this whole list i'm gonna maybe not use that one first Ooh, what's that dark anyway i'm gonna go through here and pick out something i don't know if i want the cherry cordial first thing in the morning that's pretty rich anyway i'm gonna go have one one little chocolate treat and then i'm gonna go get dressed <laughs> Yes, you. So cute. I'm braving the 40 mile an hour wind gusts to do a little research for you guys. Well, and me. I ordered the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm picking up the Too Faced Ray, uh, Born This Way Concealer, and then I'm gonna go pick up the MAC Pro, what is it? Pro Concealer, Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm gonna do a little compare and contrast video. But I have to go buy it all first. So let's get out of the cold and do some makeup shopping. Mission accomplished. Went to Sephora, got stuff. Went to the Mac store, got stuff. And they now have a Lush store at La Cantera. And I got some luxury bath oil melty things. So that's exciting. And now I'm leaving. And I've been reading your comments to the second 
day of name tag debate, it's really funny. Like, I think some of you don't get that I'm joking around <laughs> and, and are taking it very seriously. I'm kidding around, guys. Michael and I like to banter and we like to argue. And if you think that was an intense debate, you should have seen us during the election season. Anyway, um, I enjoy reading all your comments and um, that's what makes this whole thing fun. But I hope some of you are maybe understanding my sense of humor a little better. Like, I'm really not taking it that seriously, but just having a little bit of fun. So, just wanted to make that point a little more clear to some of you. Impromptu evening makeup haul. So, went to Sephora and I picked up the Born This Way concealer and I got it in the shade Very Fair. So that's for under eyes, so give that a go. And I bought it to compare against the Tarte tape, Shape Tape, which is on its way to me. Hopefully I picked the right shade, because I got that online. And I also picked up, not at Sephora, I went to the MAC store, and I picked up the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer for my under eye in the shade NC15. So we'll see how that goes. Then also back to Sephora. I picked up, because I haven't had a new one of this in a really long time, the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Now they did release a new Grandiose Extreme, and I thought, ooh, that looks good, until I realized it just means it's long wear, like up to 24 hours, and I thought, oh, it's just gonna be a pain to take off. So I just stuck with this. And then, I thought this would be cool if I'm gonna be doing any videos where I'm swatching lipstick. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off in a stick form, and it's meant for eye makeup, but to me, it looks perfect for taking off lipstick because, look, it's a, it's a balm. Like, and then you can just tissue it off. So you can very precisely remove your lipstick and not the rest of your makeup if you're doing a lipstick video. It's like it was made for YouTubers. And because I spent just enough money, I renewed my VIB Rouge status for 2017. And the little prize for doing that is a little baby NARS blush. And it's in the shade, who even knows? I mean, really, it's spelled G-O-U-L-L-U-E. I cannot even make this up. It is. How do you even say that? Anyone? Let me know. And the shade is not a garish red. I was a little worried. It's actually this, which is really pretty. It's like a, it's a muted kind of brick red, I guess, and it has a little bit of sheen to it. It looks really, really pretty. So I've not tested this on my face yet, but swatched on my arm that you can't see, but I'm playing with it. It looks really nice. So that was, that. oh wait, and there was one more thing. Everyone has said I need to have this in my collection. Hard to see in here, but this is Max Sumptuous Olive. I can't wait to give that a go. And that's it. That was everything. And one more thing I can't show you. It's a gift for somebody for Christmas. So that was the whole makeup haul for the day. And with that, I am going to haul my tushy over to the couch, hang out with Michael and all the dogs, and I'm gonna go watch The Great American Bake Off, because I believe, I think it's on tonight, and it's bread night. Woohoo! So, thanks for hanging out with me for and company for another day and a little bit of evening, and I will see you guys tomorrow.